What's up, guys? Coach Matt and YouGoProBaseball.com. Chris Marlowe, Light Tower Baseball. And we're talking about how to read the hops today because you always hear coaches saying, you got to read the hops when you're fielding the ball. But how do we actually do that? Chris is going to talk to you about it right now. So we always hear coaches say, well, read the ball, read the ball, read the hops. Well, here's how you read the hop. When we're fielding a ground ball, no matter if you're playing the outfield, the infield, even if you're a catcher, there's only three types of hops you'll ever get on the baseball field, and here they are. You have the short hop, the in-between hop or the middle hop, and the long hop. One thing I do is I have, if I have a group of infielders together, I'll say, which two hops are you trying to field the ball on? And a lot of times they'll say the, in the front hop and the middle hop. So then my next action is I move these balls and I have them field it. So here we go. Short hop. Once again, short hop. Okay, now the in between hop. Okay. Okay. Then the long hop. Okay. And then I just simply ask them so which two hops were the easiest for you to field? Short hop and long hop. That's you notice hard. how the in between hop, he kind of fumbled it around. Now, when you watch a baseball game and an infielder makes an error, watch how they got caught on that in-between hop. So, here goes the three hops again. Short hop, in-between hop, and the long hop. Okay. So then, my next question to the infielder is, well, how can we change our hop? How can we create our own hop? And here's how we do it. So, if that's the in-between hop, me as an infielder, how can I make that a short hop? Well, I can attack it. Notice how now it went from an in-between hop to a short hop. Another thing I can do is drop step. When I drop step, see how I'm turning that into a long hop. So that's why it's really important for infielders to have good footwork so you can create your own hop. Okay, whether you have to come get that in between hop and make it a short hop, or you have to drop step to make it a long hop. Don't be still in your feet. Move your feet, create your own hop. I think the biggest thing to take away from this video, at least in my opinion, is to play yourself into a good hop. You can make right. the hops however you want if you play yourself into a good position. Creating space is not always a bad thing. Taking that drop step is not always a bad thing. Antonelli uh, had a great video about this. I think it was Bregman who was doing the drill. Or it's not a drill, it was in a game. He showed him charging and he realized instinctively that he couldn't get to that ball and make a good hop for himself. So he was in the middle of charging and then he stepped back and took that drop step here, got around the ball, made a nice play. So playing yourself into a good hop is what it's all about. Now, you're still only gonna get these three hops on a field, no matter if you play yourself into a good spot or not. So just try to play yourself into a good hop. That's, That's right. the main goal, right? That's right. You gotta move your feet. And we change the in-between hop to a short hop by going and getting it, or we change it to a long hop by drop stepping. Hope you guys like this video. Check out Light Tower Baseball. I'll leave the information down below of Coach Marlowe's, and uh, we'll talk to you in the next video.